Is Apple lying to us or is it all just in our heads? Well guys, today we're gonna to be testing the SSD speed of the new M1 Pro MacBooks. Now, Apple says they can do up to 7.4 gigabits per second read speeds, which is more than twice the 3.3 gigabits per second they claim with the SSDs in the previous generation M1 Max. So in this video, we're gonna be double checking Apple's claim, and we're also gonna be doing some real life testing, transferring some files on and off the internal SSD to see just how fast it actually is. So before we get into testing, let me throw up a screen recording of me doing the same test on my M1 MacBook Pro, the 2020 model, with a 256 gigabyte SSD. As you can see there, the write is anywhere from about 2000 to 2400 megabytes per second, and the read is about 2800, but give or take a couple of hundred on either side, just because every SSD and every computer is slightly different. So with that figure fresh in your mind, let's run that same test on this 16 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. And as, as we can see guys, straight away, uh, I, I don't think Apple is lying. So when Apple says more than twice as fast, uh, I, I think they're actually underselling that a little bit. This is pretty damn quick. Okay, so let's stop that. By the way, if you guys are interested, I'm using the five gigabyte stress test. Okay, so let's close down Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. And as you guys can see here, I have a external SSD. Now this is a Thunderbolt capable SSD. It's from Sabrent. It's the XTRM-Q. It's a four terabyte. Awesome, awesome external hard drive. It is a bit premium. I will put a link down below if you guys want to check it out. Uh, I use it all the time. It's great. Super, super fast, um, but nowhere near as fast as the internal SSD on this Mac. Now, quick side note as well. Did you know it only costs 200 US dollars to double your internal storage on these Macs from 512 gigabytes to one terabyte. Previously, and I've made videos on the channel about this, I always thought that the storage upgrades on Macs were a ripoff. This one totally makes sense, and I actually think it's a bit of a bargain because the speeds of these SSDs, you really can't get them anywhere else on the market at the moment. Okay, so let's have a look at some real world testing. So you can see this particular folder here, I'm going to click get info, and you can see we have 173 gigabytes on this particular folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag and drop onto the desktop, and we're going to let that go, and we're gonna have a quick look here at the SSD speed test. So that is going at 2.6 gigabytes per second, as you can see there, going very, very quickly, less than 60 seconds to transfer almost 200 gigabytes of files and photos. And this is a mixture of 24 megapixel raw photos, um, some 4K GoPro, 4K Sony A7S Mark III, uh, 8K Red Raw, and also 6K B Raw, all those different kind of codecs. And you can see now we're about halfway through it is fluctuating a little bit on my tool, but we're sitting at about two and a half gigabytes per second transfer speed. Uh, so that definitely seems to be going very, very quickly. You can see that our peak is 2.7 gigabytes per second. Now, quick note as well, guys, this is rated at about 2,500 to 2,800 megabytes per second. So this is going to be the bottleneck, not the internal SSD on the Mac. And I think that's something you're gonna run into a lot with, with how fast these things are. There's nothing that you can attach to this Mac, not even a super fast NAS, not even a super expensive premium SSD like this, that's going to not be a bottleneck in this situation. Okay, so we're just about to finish. We've got five seconds left and that is now done. So as you guys can see, almost 200 gigabytes of files transferred in two minutes and eight seconds. So that's very impressive. So what we'll do now is we'll simply rename this to test two. We're going to reset the timer and we're gonna drag it back on to test the write speed. And I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds. Okay, we're just about to finish. There we go. So one minute and 33 seconds to transfer that back on. So as you can see, the write speed from the internal SSD to an external SSD is about 25% quicker. Now, a really common thing I think a lot of you guys are gonna be doing 
is transferring photos to and from the internal SSD. Now, video files are slightly different. You're probably gonna be having them on an external Thunderbolt drive because at least for me personally, each of these projects can be up to half a terabyte in raw footage. Now, as you can see here, we have 50 raw 24 megapixel photos. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give you guys an idea of how quickly they can transfer to and from. So let's drag it onto the desktop. We'll hit the start button and we'll see how quickly that, and it's done. Okay, it's <laughs> about three seconds. Okay, it makes, totally makes sense. Um, so as you guys can see there, you know, if you've got two and a half gigabytes of raw photos, you can literally transfer them in about a second and a half to or from. So that is pretty impressive, at least to me personally. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Any comments or questions, you know what to do. And I'll catch you in the next one.